Hello, Brad. Chris. Yes. You know, at night, I'm sitting around looking for story ideas for this segment. The other night, I ran across this website, and it's like, are you kidding me? It's Where I, have you been uh, all my life? Really? ISS, as an international space station, ISS in realtime.org. That's the website. We'll give it to you again in a moment, but I want to show you what it's all about because when I discovered it, it's like, you've got to be, what kind of individual or organization could possibly compile this volume of data? So this is the landing page when you get there, okay? And it says right off the top how many years, days, hours, minutes, and yes, seconds the okay. space station has been. I mean, it's that, that all right. amazing. And along the top there, you can see the years. It's all broken down by year, okay? So I want to take you to this version so we can actually put it into motion okay. for you. So you select the year along the top, what year you want to investigate, because it's all broken down not only by year, but also by month and then by day. So it pops up wow. a little calendar for each year. I'm going to choose um, July 5th, 2016, okay? So when it pops up, this is the data from July <laughs> oh 5th, 2016. On this left-hand side are the highlights, bullet point highlights. In the center, every picture that was snapped from the ISS is available for that day. And in the upper right-hand corner is all of the dialogue between astronauts and NASA mission All control. of it? Yes, and Chris, it's not like a version you read. You can read it, but they have the actual audio clips, so you can listen <laughs> to the conversation. I'm surprised you made it to work on time today. I figured you'd probably still be digging oh, through I, this. I, I got, we know where you'll be after work I got tonight. sucked into it, and I was there that for hours. That is the rabbit hole of okay, all rabbit but there's holes. more, because notice up over here, there's a 24-hour timeline, because believe it or not, you can actually go in there and then select right down to the minute, and, and it shows you down in the lower, lower right-hand corner where the space shuttle was at that <laughs> oh point in time. Gosh. So 25 years worth of data. It's just incredible that this resource is out there for anybody who might want to peruse it. But the pictures alone are fun to look at. And again, oh, yeah. you have 25 years worth of pictures to check out. Okay, so again, it's ISS in real Very time. Cool. Dot .org. And we know there won't be many more years left for that thing. Only five this year. So. Scheduled anyway. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. right. Okay, so there's one other thing I wanted to make a quick mention of because it was just two weeks ago today. Mm -hmm. We told you about Comet Lemon, that it's not visible to the naked eye, but we said with a cell phone camera sure. or a digital camera, you might see it. I see a few good patrons of WBAY ah. uploaded pictures to WBAY.com. Tim Schettiger, I hope I pronounced that right, taken from a rooftop in Green Bay. Beautiful picture. Yeah. This was taken by, it says, Seastar S50. I had to look it up. It's a digital telescope. Looks like a three-minute exposure, but that is just a gorgeous view. Yeah. And here's another picture from uh, Paul Hettenhaus. Quote, the comet was invisible to the naked eye, but I did find it after a few long exposures. Now, we can still see it if you use a cell phone or a digital camera, but we only have about two weeks left before okay. it's probably way too dim. But look west, 60 to 90 minutes after sunset. I'll show you here a diagram real quick. Looking west, 7 p.m., a very bright star, Arcturus, right along the horizon. Look to the upper left of Arcturus and start scanning around in this area there with your binoculars, and maybe you'll spot it. Uh, this is where it will be tonight, the 30th, the 31st, and again on November 1st. So good luck, and again, if you see it, please upload it to WBAY.com. Because yeah, we just had proof. We will. Use Put them. it on the air, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, Brad, thanks so much. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.